it's okay to visit some websites at school that are educational, but you shouldn't visit these websites at school because they are non-educational and they're very distracting for not only you, but the entire class. <laughs> It's Mina. Welcome back to my channel. Or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And today in this video, I'm going to go over my top 10 websites you shouldn't visit at school. So these are websites you shouldn't be going on at school because they're not school appropriate. And also because some of them can be very distracting for the entire class. So please be careful not to go on these websites. I'm sides, so some of them are okay for the teacher to put on, but you shouldn't be putting these on, go on going on these websites yourself at school because you're trying there because you're at school, you're there to learn, you're not there to shop online or watch videos online. So I'm gonna get started and I hope you guys enjoy the video. <laughs> So number one in my list would have to be Yo Mama Jokes. So you never want to go on the Yo Mama Jokes website just because the jokes are very inappropriate. They're not, they're very rude and they may kind of offend some people. So you don't want to be like going on there, reading them off. And I understand some people might find them funny, but some people may get offended by those jokes because they are very, very cruel and harsh. So please do not visit this website and repeat any of these jokes because they are really, really not school appropriate. And I have a full story about how one of my classmates got caught on um, the Yo Mama Jokes website. And if you want to see the full video, I'll link it in the description box down below. Number two on my list would have to be Amazon. So you never want to visit Amazon when you're at school, especially if you're on a school computer or because the school, because when you put your credit or debit card information on a school computer and then you someone else probably could get that computer. I mean, I understand they'll probably power wash the computer or get rid of all the information on the computer, but you don't want everybody to ha know like your shopping card. You don't want anyone to have like your debit card information. You don't want anyone to have your credit card information. It's just not a good idea to go on Amazon when you're at school or log into your Amazon account at school because you don't want to log in on a computer that everybody uses because you don't want someone getting a hold of your account and spending your credit or debit card. <laughs> I apologize, that was my tablet. But um, number three on my list would be Facebook. So you never wanna go on Facebook when you're at school because you're not at school to scroll through social media. You're at school to do work and do educational stuff. And Facebook's not really educational because um, you can um, find, um, um, you can be distracted by posts and Facebook also has games that you can play, but you shouldn't be going on Facebook when you're at school. It's just not a good idea. Number four on my list would have to be YouTube. Funny story, I just realized as I was editing this video, I forgot to put number four or make footage for a clip for number four. So you don't wanna visit YouTube when you're at school, only if the teacher requires you to watch a video um, because, oh, and plus you, if you have a YouTube account, you probably don't wanna log into your YouTube account on a school computer because you don't know how secure those computers are. So, Please keep in mind, only use YouTube when your teacher tells you to go on YouTube. Don't go on YouTube to watch whatever videos you want because some videos on YouTube might not be school appropriate. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention about YouTube was that at my school, when I was in high school, they had YouTube blocked at my school so no one could watch YouTube. I should have mentioned that after I said you shouldn't be visiting YouTube at school because... Um, because um, it's just they, I think they did it so the students wouldn't get so distracted and not focus on their work. Number five on my list would have to be Netflix. So you don't wanna be going on Netflix when you're at school just because um, you're not there to watch 
TV, watch TV shows, movies, you're at school to learn. And it's very distracting when you go on Netflix to watch something. And it also might disturb the entire class. So please, if you want to watch Netflix, you have to do that at home or at an Airbnb or be while on vacation. Don't do it at school where everybody probably can hear your movie or it, you be so distracted by the movie that you won't be able to focus on school. Number six on my list would have to be eBay. So you don't wanna go on eBay when you're at school or log into your eBay account at school if you have an eBay account because um, if someone else um, gets the computer next year, they could have all your like debit or credit card information. It's just probably not a good idea because you don't wanna um, accidentally forget that you're still logged in and have someone spend your credit or debit card um, on eBay. So it's just not a good idea. If you wanna do your eBay account, always do that at home. Don't log in to your eBay account on someone on a computer at school. <laughs> Number seven on my list should be Twitter. So you never want to, um, you never want to go on Twitter when you're at school, just because um, you are not there to school through social media. And plus, Twitter may not have um, appropriate school stuff on there, so it's just very distracting. For thing. And um, when you're doing schoolwork and you get bored, you shouldn't be going on Twitter at school because you don't want the school computer to have your Twitter information. Please keep that in mind. Number eight on my list would have to be Instagram. So you never want to go on Instagram when you're at school because like I said, you're said that's a social media site and you shouldn't be going on there because there may not be school appropriate things on, on that website. Um, you may get so distracted and start start posting Instagram photos and stuff and someone may see your Instagram photos which may not be school appropriate. So please don't visit Instagram while you're at school. Only do it on your phone during your free time. Number nine on my list would be Hulu. So you never wanna go on Hulu um, at school just because Again, you're not at school to use the computer to watch videos. You're at school to use the computer to learn. And um, it's just not a good idea to go on Hulu to watch stuff um, at school. I mean, most schools just use YouTube for educational videos, which is totally fine. But um, I wouldn't go on Hulu while you're at school because you're at school to do work. Like I said, you're not there to watch videos on the computer. <laughs> Number 10 on my list would have to be Roblox. So you never want to go on Roblox when you're at school because Roblox um, is just a game thing and um, you shouldn't be playing games on your school computer because your school computers are, the, are for schoolwork. You shouldn't be using them for games and stuff, especially if it's a Chromebook because some Chromebooks don't do well with games, trust me. I used to play games on my Chromebook and then my computer was having issues with the games. So. There are some games that are Chromebook safe, but it's just probably not a good idea to go on Chromebook, go on um, Roblox when you're at school because it's a game and you shouldn't be playing games at school. You should be using your school computer for work. So those are the top 10 websites you shouldn't visit at school. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoons sometimes, and I'll see you in another video soon. Bye. If you found this video helpful, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe.